In this video, I created a sales page checklist for you that you should use specifically on your homepage and also throughout your other pages of your website that will make your sales conversion rate higher. And just to be clear, earlier I showed you another checklist, but that was for general copywriting. This checklist is if you are selling something like a product or a service, this is for closing the sale and this is for specific sales pages. Whereas the previous checklist for copywriting, that was a general checklist for how to make blog posts more attractive and other kinds of pages. But this is specifically to make sales because it's not enough to just do SEO and write the SEO for Google only. You have to balance writing on your website for two things. You're targeting real human visitors and Google. So as you're working on ways to promote your website, like with SEO, once people land on your site, you have to make them take the next step, which usually is to sign up for something or to buy something. So let's go over a checklist that I created for you that you can use to increase your sales conversion rate, essentially the rate of people taking the next step on your site, whatever that step might be. So the first thing people see when they come to your homepage or any landing page or content page is a compelling and eye-catching title. It should also be a clear title so that people know what they're going to get. That title should be reinforced by the subtitle. The subtitle is usually just a little smaller right underneath the title, but because it's smaller, it can be a tiny bit longer. Usually the title is a few words and the subtitle is a few more words like a sentence or two at most, that gives you plenty of space to explain exactly what people are going to get. If you have a product page, then of course, the next thing people look at is your product description. You can also have a sales video. Keep in mind that a well done sales video can increase sales conversion by a lot, but a poorly made sales video can actually decrease your sales conversion. So don't just put any old sales video. Of course, then people want social proof. If you have something like reviews or awards you ever got, and I know awards are rare, but if you ever got any award for anything, then you should definitely have it on your site because that impresses people. That gives you credibility. That makes you really, really stand out. Also, if you have testimonials from clients, if you have something like a featured in section of your site, for example, you might have seen on other sites, there's like featured in Mashable, TechCrunch, or some other big site that also gives you credibility. Also, what you want to have are the basics. Make sure you have a well-written about page, well-written privacy page and support page so that people can see you are trustworthy and there's a real human person behind this website. Also, if you have any certifications or degrees or years of experience, all of these give you credibility. Also, if you have anything like a money bag guarantee or a warranty, list that because that, again, builds trust. People see that if they don't like whatever you're selling, there's less risk and that actually increases your sales conversion rate. And again, if you have discounts or any kind of scarcity, scarcity is basically like 10 items left, items are running out, get yours today because tomorrow they won't be around. That kind of scarcity, like, again, sale ends today or something like that. Just get people to act sooner. And then of course, you want to make sure that you have a call to action on your page, basically saying buy now or sign up now or whatever that you want people to do. So as many of these as you can have on your homepage, throughout your pages on your site, make sure you have these and go through your site and see, mm, do I have a privacy policy? If no, add one. Do I have a good about page? Most people have an about page, but is it good? Does it give you credibility? Does it have your photo? Does it make you trustworthy? Because a lot of your potential clients will look at your about page because they want to know who they're doing business with. And so every item here, check to see if you're actually practicing them. You don't have to do all of these, but each one of them has proven to help the sales conversion. So you're doing SEO, the second part of this process is getting people to buy once they're on your site. And this is the checklist that you should adhere to 
that will help you ensure that your sales conversion is high.